hey guys so welcome back to the youtube channel so in this video i'm going to teach you a quick way to install visa lab um, script so i'm going to install this online banking script called visa lab in a few minutes so if you want to learn how to install visa lab then this video is for you so in this video i'm going to show you how to actually install visa lab so i'm not going to waste time you already know about visa lab for watching this video so visa lab is an online banking script then you can come create an account and perform banking tasks just like your regular bank so i'm going to teach you how to install it now this is best so let's get started now the first thing you need for actually uh installing visa lab or creating your own bank with visa lab is a domain name and a web hosting and so for that i would recommend you use namecheap because they are actually fast and um, better for doing service uh, websites for creating website like this so you want to come to the link in the description now there's a link in the description of this video please click on it um even if you're not purchasing here just click on it and create an account as anytime you purchase i get certain referral commission at no extra cost to you and you even be giving coupon code for using my link now once you come here you want to enter the name of your website so it could be um neo bank Okay, it could be something like this or newborn.com. So it could be this. This could be your bank name. So you come up with the name, you type in the name on that place that asks you to type in your domain name, and it's going to show you if the name is available or not. So now, before we continue, I should remind you or I should let you know that I, I have already purchased a domain name and a web hosting for this tutorial. I already purchased what I need for this tutorial, but I'm just showing you how you can actually get yours done. Understand, guys? So, how you can get yours done. So, I already have my own domain name and hosting which I purchased uh, from Namecheap, which I'm going to use for this tutorial and show you how to do it. So, but I just want you to know the process. As you see, this newbound.com is actually available, and for six dollars uh, 94 cents, if you use this coupon code, as I said before, so you're going to click on add to cart. It's going to add it to cart. See, if the cost of this is uh eleven dollar in total, then once you are done, you just copy this new com, uh new com six four nine, and use on the checkout to reduce the price to six dollar. Now, once you're done with that, click on the hosting as you can see hosting included. Just click on add hosting, and it will automatically add hosting. Now, you do not need this AI VPN. Uh, WordPress, business email, SSL, you know, you get SSL, SSL for free for one here. Now, once you're done, as you can see, you have um, $15 total. So you can view the item. So you have a Stellar host for one month subscription. Now, you want to change this to a year. So you want to ensure that this is a year. This is not one month. So I'm going to remove this from here. Come back. Now go to hosting. Click on shared hosting. Now when you click on shared hosting come downward you're going to pay 22 dollar 88 cents for one year click on get started with this and it's going to be attached to your um, domain name which you already purchased as you can see total of 34 dollar um 34 cents so use the new domain name already in cart new band and then you click on add to cart now once you add that to cart you're going to come here um put your promo code uh what's the promo code now totally forgotten you just put your promo code here and then once you're done you click on confirm order and then you apply the promo code and your price is slashed you click on confirm order now you create your username and your password and then or you create an account sorry create an account and then you make payment for it now your cpanel detail will be sent to your email now your cpanel detail will be sent to your email uh, account the email which you use to register this so the cPanel looks something like this. This is my farm manager right now. So let me show you how the cPanel look. All right, this is how the cPanel look. So your cPanel look like this, as you can see. So that plan was the plan that could carry three domain. So I have it here. This is the plan I'm using. So everything here is important, and we're going to go through them one after the other. But the first part you want to enter to install this is to click on File Manager. Now I already have File Manager open here. As you can see, this is my file manager. And for this file manager, now what you want to do is to come to 
the public underscore html now i already have a file the website installed the public underscore html so i'm using this one for this tutorial but for your own you're going to click this public underscore html and then click on upload same process but yours is going to click public underscore html click on upload then you click on select file so this is the file now vice lab i'm going to click open now there's also a link to download the file in the description of this video so you click on it once you click on it it will upload then you click on back now click on this you extract it now extract the file you're going to extract on your uh, public underscore html now you open the file select or move everything from this main file to the public underscore html now here will be written public underscore html for you now click on move file now go back copy uh, your domain name so carry your domain name go to a new tab paste your domain name and put slash r-n-s-t-a-l-l that means your domain name slash install so once you do that you click on enter it will bring you to this place so then you click on i agree next step and it will tell you that all your requirement has been passed because i set the file to pass all requirement now you click on next step and it's going to ask you for a database user the database was database password so come here um, okay this is the file manager right now this is cpanel come here this is the database database wizard this is the one you want to click i'm going to open this in a new tab so you're going to come here um right here you're going to come you're going to enter the name that you want to call your database so i'm going to call this delete okay deleted so i'm going to call this deleted whatever name you choose to it doesn't matter just call it whatever you want to call it click on next step enter here paste the same deleted now i'm going to use this as my password because it will be easier for me to remember so come here paste your password paste um, the same password again and click on create users and it will automatically create the user for you i'm not going to save this I already copy it click on all privilege and make changes now it has made the changes successfully now what you want to do is to come back here to your website put the database name put the database username um put the database password now on this host put local host and come here put admin put another admin and put your email address so i'm going to put it design tech as an email address i'm going to click on install now and it's going to install the website as you see the system has been installed successfully so delete the install folder from the server so all you just have to do is to come back to your file manager this is my file manager look for the install file as you can see this is it click on delete as you can see it has been deleted um come here visit your website and activate it so this is your system this is your website system right now so you can visit your pages like your about us page your services page your faq page if you visit everywhere you can go through it now you can sign up create an account and you could log in so now we want to go to the admin page now so you go to your website the, um, your website slash admin you click on enter and then remember we um, use our password to be admin admin so i'm going to enter admin admin and i'm going to click on login and it's going to take me here as you can see i'm not going to save this so this is the platform as you can see this is how it looks so this is where you manage your staff that are going to be managing your banking for you as you can see this is the only admin we have here so you give rules this is your user manager side where you activate or make users active or ban users from your platform here is your kyc this is where you set deposits you approve reject deposits this is where you set withdrawal people that request withdrawal from your bank this is where people will be able to transfer money pending transfer reject transfer own bank transfer other bank transfer so um this is other bank services as you can see we want to add other banks here 
so assuming you want to add transfer from your bank to let's say um a different bank like uh, bank of america you could add bank of america here such that the user will send to that account and your company will credit the account in bank of america so this is wire transfer you have wire transfer here um this is your branches if you have other branch of this bank so they can manage it so this is the plans um you can set loan plan dspf rp so as you can see it is very good now there are many uh, payment gateway you could attach to this if you want to use payment gateway as you can see you have both crypto and um, cash or uh, normal usd currency so you can set them here so you have a lot of payment gateway attached you also have um your current job setting now to make users account always updating all you just have to do is to set up your chrome job to run perfectly so you go to chrome so let's go to cpanel you search for chrome so this is the chrome job so you copy the chrome and then paste it here copy your chrome paste your chrome job here then you add um once per five minutes so your chrome is going to be put here so that is how you do that so everything else is on the platform i just decided to show you guys how to use this uh platform as you see this is actually cool um thank you for watching this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button um a lot of you guys actually love watching my videos but you do not subscribe so please don't forget to hit the subscribe button i would like to see you as part of my subscriber so um don't forget to hit the subscribe button i like this video please and i will see you on my next video bye for now